Hello YouTube, just as I promised, this is going to be a video reply for Zomjitis and her video Evidence for Evolution. I'm going to keep my promise and in this video or video series I'm not going to try to prove or disprove anything God evolution so everybody just be cool now most atheists on YouTube are struggling to promote the idea that uh, atheists are smart and everybody else who do not subscribe to atheism is probably a retard. So if you do not want to be a retard, you must subscribe to atheism today. And if it's possible to donate some money to Zomjitis, who is poor, or to Richard Darkson. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to try to disprove the smart atheist theory. I will do this by exposing the so-called smart female atheist on YouTube on the subject who is the most loved by atheist evolution. Now let's see how smart she really is. A while ago, in a conference on Blog TV, she presented what she thought was the most a good evidence for evolution, the so-called fact that men and apes are vegetarians. As far as I know, our digestive system is pretty similar to, let's say, a chimp. And they don't need, I mean, they need some meat in their diet. Yeah, so um, they need like 1% meat in their diet. They eat ants and sometimes they eat other smaller monkeys, but that's more like a um, mean power thing than, than unnecessary, you know, additive in their diet. So w we don't really need that much meat. I think it's important to say this. If we can eat meat because we cook it, because we cook it, because we cook it. The fire was a very important discovery, but humans could also eat dehydrated meat very well. Because we cook it, so we can eat a lot of meat because, it's, like I said, it's part partially digested. We can eat meat at every meal, but that doesn't mean that we need it. The argument used by PGS that humans are programmed to be vegetarians and that would demonstrate a connection between monkeys and us show a complete lack of knowledge about biology and about the Darwin theory. Now according to Darwin theory, we monkeys evolve because we decided to eat meat. It is an essential point in Darwin theory. So, to be an evolutionist and in the same time to uh, try to prove that humans are vegetarians is just stupid. I think it's important to say that because so many people are watching and everybody will be like, oh my god, you know, I have to eat meat or I will die. The fact that PGS is trying to prove that the meat from the human diet is something eccentric and unnecessary, it shows us that she has no knowledge about the human biology, about the human digestive system. Oh my god, you know, I have to eat meat or I will die. But of course, PGS has some very strong evidence to support her theory that humans are in fact vegetarians. Some of you at least are, are familiar with, with uh, Dendrophilian on YouTube and he's a vegan and he's, you know, like health on a stick. And he looks pretty, pretty healthy to me. And that strong evidence is that there are one or two users on YouTube who they say about them they are vegetarians and they look good, they look healthy. And also I know another vegan on here, uh, Gypsy Witch is her name and she's also pretty healthy. I mean, it, it depends, you, you have to be very careful with your food when you're a vegan. You have to, you know, constantly eat a lot of peanuts and you know, dry fruits and all this kind of shit, but it can be done for some people. So after this girl, for one or two users on YouTube, who they say about them, they are vegetarians and they look good, they look healthy, we should change the classification of human species from uh, omnivore to vegetarians for two users on YouTube. There are vegans who live a healthy lifestyle. Today's science has evolved a lot, human relations and interactions too. And for today, vegetarians 
they have products from different geographical places, a lot of vitamins, pills. So to actually believe that uh, to be vegetarian it's a normal thing for a human, it's just stupid. It must be said that uh, not everybody supports uh, PGS uh, human vegetarians theory. Um, another thing is that you said that the chip digestive system wasn't necessarily um, that we are, we are tuned in, into eating plants, and I completely disagree. Um, take a look at, at, um, at what happens, I mean, look at our appendix. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a, shriveled up, um, a shriveled up vestige of an organ that was used to contain bacteria to digest cellulose. It shrunk because it was no longer being used. So the argument that we're designed to be eating um, solely plants and 1% and animals, I think, is... Stupid. It's this what I think. Now, let's return to the PGS video, Evidence for Evolution. Well, such claim is ignorant on its own, because every fossil is, in fact, a transitional form. Okay, so PGS say that all fossils are transitional forms. Uh, here we speak uh, of a hypothesis used by Richard Dachson and other evolutionists, but PGS never understood what it's about. Every fossil is, in fact, a transitional form. This statement goes against the theory of evolution, because if all fossils are transitional forms, then we should find those transitions everywhere. But we don't. It is amazing that this girl actually thinks she's an evolutionist, and she come up with things like that. Even more, if that is true, we should see evolution today, because everything that lives, an animal, a plant, a human, even Christina, would one day become a fossil. Every fossil is in fact a transitional form. Okay, let's see what the theory of evolution and modern evolutionists have to say about this. The missing link had to be what Charles Darwin called a transitional form. These lie at the very heart of his theory of evolution because they show how one animal can mutate into another. Transitions occur in evolution when there is a dramatic environmental change. Creatures that cannot adapt to the new environment die out. But chance mutations often turn out to be the key to survival. There is an explosion of bizarre forms as a host of mutants experiment with living in the new environment. These freaks of nature will die out quickly, and just some will become transitional forms, creatures that are half one animal and half another, which bridge the old way of living and the new. Transitional forms are the most crucial fossils in all evolution. They're important to the zoologists, to the paleontologists, because they they show you what the process actually was. I think they're very important to the public as, as being direct evidence that there was a process of change that you can document. But transitional forms are also the rarest of beasts. By their very nature, they were few in number and lived for just a short intermediate time until a wholly new animal evolved. Every fossil is in fact a transitional form. These freaks of nature will die out quickly, and just some will become transitional forms. Every fossil is in fact a transitional form. Creatures that are half one animal and half another, which bridge the old way of living and the new. Transitional forms are the most crucial fossils in all evolution. Every fossil is in fact a transitional form. But transitional forms are also the rarest of beasts. Every fossil is in fact a transitional form. By their very nature, they were few in number and lived for just a short intermediate time until a wholly new animal evolved. Every fossil is in fact a transitional form. Evolutionists have chosen for decades the saving route that the transition occurs very rarely and not every fossil is a transitional fossil. 
every fossil is in fact a transitional form. Okay, I could play this game. I have one question for Christina. One day, each one of us would become a fossil, including I or Christina. So that means that this atheist blonde that we see today is just a transition for, I mean from an atheist blonde to something better? Every fossil is in fact a transitional form. In the next video I am going to address to the other so-called evidence for evolution. Homologies refer to similar structures in different organisms. For instance, the forelimb in tetrapods, which is made from the same set of skeletal bones.